This was uh, 2003, I believe it was. You can see how the site has developed a little more. You see all the different lines for the water management strategy. If uh, we were that last shot, I was looking across at this ridge, the alternating strips of grains and produce grains and produce going down that ridge. A few more years go by, you can see the young chestnut trees growing. That's the same ridge here. These are successional changes until now here. It's all grown together and you can almost hardly see the rows sometimes. This was just taken um, uh, two years ago, actually. Successional change. And managing that succession of the system, uh, let's see if I can go back. Yes, I can. This right here, it's going to continue to grow. These, these, uh, all these trees are going to grow. They're the, they're the locally adapted, mostly the oak savanna uh, and northern hardwoods um, plant communities that we've planted here. They will eventually, with enough moisture and no disturbance, grow into a closed canopy forest with very little uh, vegetation underneath, a, th a thick duff layer, spring-grown ephemerals, uh, lots of decay and fungus. This will eventually grow to a closed canopy forest, or if I continue to manage succession, I can keep it in a phase, an ecological phase, also known as a sear. I can keep it in that phase that's most advantageous to uh, what I want to do on my, particular, uh, on my particular property. And we do that through disturbance. <clears throat> we farm the successional process. We use the species, and we know that this process is going to take place. We're going to go from bare soil of a cornfield through lichen and moss veins, grasses, herbs, and shrubs, whatever the species are of your place, uh, this is actually uh, quite similar to what could be occurring in Vermont. I fixated on Vermont because I miss the North Woods right now, and I saw that someone was from Vermont. Um, so we interact with our site, and we affect the successional uh, process on, on our place with disturbance. <clears throat> and uh, all through the eons, uh, plants have moved across this continent in response to weather changes, uh, glaciation changes, volcanic changes, river pattern changes. All of these species have migrated across the continent based on the disturbance. And uh, ecologists define disturbance any kind of discrete event that changes the ecosystem. The, the structure, that's its shape, you know, all the, the configuration, whether it's an open canopy, closed canopy, species composition, new species come in, old species get burned out or blown out or eventually become extinct for whatever reason. Uh, and it changes their functioning. Obviously, different species and different planting configurations will affect their functioning. <clears throat> we want to understand how the structure, species composition, and the function of our system works. And so we need to understand how disturbance inter interacts with our particular species suite and the disturbance regime that we use to manage our system. Disturbance includes landslides, major ecosystem components on the shape, from the shape of the land, volcanism. <clears throat> Some disturbance events are, are repeated on a short cycle, uh, once a year, twice a year, three times a year, once a decade, once every 50 years, or as in this case right here, once every 10,000 years or so your mountain blows up and then succession starts all over again. That's a pretty serious disturbance if you happen to live in living there. 